hello everyone welcome to my channel j networks in this video we'll look at the concept of flow control or windowing in tcp tcp implements flow control by using a window concept that is applied to the amount of data that can be outstanding and awaiting acknowledgements at any one point of time this window concept lets the receiving host tell the sender how much data it can receive right now giving the receiving host a way to make the sending host slow down or speed up the receiver can slide the window size up and down called a sliding window or dynamic window to change how much data the sender can send the sliding window mechanism makes much more sense an example the example shown here in this figure uses some basic rules as the examples which i have told in my previous videos in this case none of the tcp segments have errors and uh, this discussion begins with one tcp segment earlier than in the previous videos which i have explained so what i mean to say is i am explaining with one PC that is having a web browser and a web server all right so the previous videos which I have explained the TCP flow like multiplexing and error recovery I have given an example now the acknowledgement field should be familiar to all of you now if you are still having confusion with the acknowledgement field you can check my other videos about the TCP SYN and acknowledgement packet that are present in the TCP headers all right so now the server tells the PC that the server expects a segment with the sequence number thousand after this segment the new field the window field is set to 3000 because the segment flows to the PC so as you can see here this is an acknowledgement so already we have uh, data flown above this acknowledgement field so the web server is sending an acknowledgement with thousand number and it is giving the size of window as 3000 so what it means is the PC understands that it can only send 3000 bytes and it's stop sending waiting on an acknowledgement after sending 3000 byte TCP segments let us assume this PC has already sent four TCP segments of 1000 bytes each these are 1000 bytes and segments are four one two three and four so the web server gives an acknowledgement thousand based on the TCP sequence numbers in these segments and then also informs the web server that was I have a window size only of 3000 bytes so the PC understands this and then makes a note of the window size and sends three TCP segments one two and three with thousand bytes each this thousand second thousand and th third thousand to so three thousand bytes so the web server again now sends an acknowledgement of 4000 based on the sequence number 3000 here so this is an acknowledgement for this particular TCP segment and now the server gives a window size of 4000 so and this is a new window size based on the RAM availability based on the CPU availability and the network resource availability on the web server this window size will be sliding it could be any number now it has given as 4000 this could be 40,000 or 400,000 based on the availability of RAM CPU and network on the web server this window will be sliding up and down so that is the reason it is called as flow control or this is also called as sliding window sliding window in TCP now the TCP acknowledgement 4000 has received by the 
PC and then it also has got the window size of 4000. So the PC notes down this point and looks the window size 4000. Now the PC starts sending four TCP segments in one go. One, two, three and four which thousand bytes each. So that would be 4000 bytes. So in simple based on the window size given by the receiver the sender PC adjusts or changes its window size or the TCP segment size whereas UDP data transfer differs from TCP data transfer in that no reordering or recovery is accomplished in UDP as I've explained in my previous videos about the error recovery in TCP where unordered packets for example packet number one two and three are sent like one three and two this will be reordered as one two and three at the receiver end this does not happen in udp applications that use udp are tolerant of lost data or they have some application mechanism to recover lost data for example uh, voip uses voice over ip uses udp because if a packet like voice packet is lost by the time the loss could be noticed and the packet retransmitted too much delay would be occurred and the voice would be unmatching to the current scenario let me explain with an example here so let us assume uh, these are two persons using Skype call this is Skype and this is Skype call on their PCs so both Skypes get connected this protocol uses UDP UDP doesn't have error recovery or uh, retransmission like TCP for example the first person sends hello in voice to the second person and this protocol uses this uh, application uses UDP as the protocol so what happens let us assume this O is lost in the network traffic or network transit or some issue on the senders or receivers PC the only information received on the receivers end is hell so does retransmission makes any sense here it doesn't make sense for example the person receives hell at one time after a few seconds the O reaches him O so does this conversation or does this message make any meaning it doesn't make any meaning so retransmission doesn't have any meaning in real-time applications the applications like Skype that use uh, voice call or video call Skype is just an example any voice or video application that uses real-time communications uses only UDP and UDP doesn't have any retransmission mechanism because you retransmission doesn't make sense the same goes to the video call as well for example this person is sending a live video to him in the video if if a scene if a scene or if a frame is missed and if that frame reaches to him after a few seconds does that make any sense no it doesn't make any sense so it is better to be shown as some blank image or some kind of dots instead of sending this image after some time so that is the reason UDP doesn't have a uh, retransmission or error correction process just like TCP another application that uses UDP is DNS request DNS also uses UDP because the user will retry an operation if the DNS resolution fails another example is network file system NFS it's a remote file system application that performs recovery with application layer code so UDP features are also applicable to this NFS 
where error recovery or retransmission is not required hope you guys have understood the concept of, of flow control using windowing process where both the sender and receive agree upon the window size and also you might have uh, understood the main difference of uh, using UDP and TCP in applications if you like this video please like and share and comment and subscribe to my channel thank you